spring. Ah, longer days, warmer weather, budding flowers and trees, and singing birds. With spring fast approaching, let's look at some of the common birds and their behavior that marks the arrival of the life-giving season. Enjoy! The Sweet Little Phoebe Song of Black-Capped Chickadees Thanks to how widespread they are, found across much of North America, and the fact they hang out in our gardens and neighborhoods, most people get to hear this sweet little tune. It is the male song, which can be heard as early as January, but it really picks up in March. Listen for the sweet two or three note whistle that sounds like, hey sweetie, or cheeseburger. Hearing this lovely melody in late winter is a reassuring sign that even though there is still some snow and cold days, spring is definitely upon us. If you want to learn more about this song, check out my recent video, The Cheeseburger Song of Black Cap Chickadees. I'll leave a link in the description. The Arrival of Red Wing Blackbirds Seeing these migrants showing up in early March is a sure sign that the thaw of the marshes is soon to follow. Sure, there may be another snowstorm or two, but observing males checking out potential territories tells us that this is soon to be a thing of the past, and it won't be long before females arrive as well. How common it is to spot them high up on cattails announcing to other males their presence, warning them to stay away. For many, hearing their raucous calls brings back those fond, familiar memories of warmer, sunshiny days. Courting Blue Jays Found in a great deal of North America and familiar backyard birds to many, these perky-crested big personality jays group up together in March to find a mate, and for others to strengthen the pair bond with the mate they already have. So many squeaky gate calls from males can be heard, as well as the rattle sound of females. each made while bobbing up and down. Single males gather around one female as they try to impress her, usually resulting in her taking flight after studying them closely. All the males follow suit and the winner gets to shower her in food offerings, a heart-melting behavior that indicates brighter days are just ahead. Molting American Goldfinches Another bird that is found across a great deal of North America, this darling little finch is a common backyard bird, especially in March and April. Unlike other birds that are busy courting now, these guys are a little later thanks to their out-of-the-ordinary way of molting again in spring, something that most other passerons don't do. This results in dull males of winter transforming into beaming yellow small bundles of sunshine with a distinctive black cap on their heads. This change in appearance is one hallmark of spring for many in North America. Make sure to listen for their sweet sounding potato chip call too, which may be heard as they fly overhead and sometimes when perched. The Return of American Robins Perhaps no other bird in North America is so well renowned as being the harbinger of spring than this red pot-bellied common thrush of backyards. This is largely due to just how widespread and familiar they are, hanging out on the lawns of homes, parks, and businesses. Almost everyone has seen a robin running across their lawn, stopping abruptly as they scan the ground for any movement, then cocking their head to the side and striking their beak into the ground to pull up a worm. To hear their very cheerful and sweet-sounding song after all winter is one welcome sign that the lively season has begun. The drumming of woodpeckers. Hearing the drumming of a woodpecker is a welcome sound for some, provided it's not on your house. March and April are when they get really busy drumming, which is used to attract a mate and defend territory. Mostly it can be heard in the morning, but also throughout the entire day.
There is no refuting how wonderful the sound of birds singing is, but there is just something about the sound of a woodpecker hammering on a tree to find a mate that seems to create a warm, pleasant feeling. The forest in spring would be an empty place without the noise of woodpeckers. The absence of certain birds. As winter comes to a close, birds like dark-eyed juncos, white-throated sparrows, and red poles that were present over the colder months now become rarer to see until finally you don't see any at all. For that reason, the absence of these birds is a sign of spring. Since these birds breed further north, this is more true for people in the United States and southern areas of Canada. For people northward though, it's the opposite. The arrival of these birds, like white-throated sparrows for an example, is a sign that spring has arrived. How sweet it is to hear the song of these charming birds after months of them being absent. Seeing birds gathering nesting material. You can be sure that spring is most definitely here when you witness birds such as chickadees, wrens, bluebirds, and others gathering nesting material. How joyful a feeling to see them going off beaks chinched with twigs or fur from other animals. A walk in the woods may have you witnessing a chickadee on the ground pulling off pieces of moss, or taking advantage of fur from an animal carcass. One of the cutest things for me each spring is seeing blue jays collecting twigs, oftentimes resulting in them fighting with live ones as they try to break them off. The sight of one with twigs packed in its beak assures me that spring is now in full swing. Those are some of the most common hallmarks of spring, but there are many more that I could list, such as the singing of black and white warblers, the presence of yellow rumped warblers, the loud belting song of the tiny ruby crown kinglet, reverberating sound of rough grouse drumming, bluebirds checking out nest boxes, and many more. Now that winter is done for another year, make sure to relish in all that spring has to offer when it comes to birding. It won't be long before chillier days will be back. I'm curious, what signals the arrival of spring for you? Comment below and share your own experience. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy birding!